be, I think it's probably not. But it appears, well, you know, we can't see a pressure in this scenario. So, anyway. But are, do we really feel like Russia is an existential threat to turn that idea to us? Presently, now, if we get more involved in Ukraine, I would say that you better reassess your risk. I would say that every time you spend money, expertise, and weapons to Ukraine, it goes up a notch in who's afraid of how he's not liking you and, and to where he may do something about it. So your risk level goes up. What if we spend some of that money fighting the Mexican drug cartel? But aren't they actually more of a threat? If you look at the country, over 100,000 people died this year. More than 100,000 uh, this year and, and last year. So 200,000 Americans will die in a two year period because the borders are wide, wide open, and they're bringing fentanyl. Fentanyl is not easy to go stop. Poison somebody uh, very easily. Especially if call them overdoses, but in fact, you think that so is somebody with a tiny bit of fentanyl in it has more to kill them and poison them. It is purposely overdosed, right? So, 200,000 people are dead. Are dead. And, and that's an 18 to 45 year old. It just happened to be uh, military age, just happened to be. Um, in terms of earning power, just reaching their full potential. Um, yeah, this, this is critical. But the Biden administration won't talk about it at all because it goes back to secure the border, which he absolutely will not do. So we need to assess the risk. Russia is less of a danger to us than Mexico. And then, of course, the proxy. China's the ones that are making the fentanyl, but the cartels are all too happy to take it and send it here. They're killing them. They're killing them. And they're making money doing it. And they also have, you know, their little side business. You know, like holding human beings in slavery. Thought we agreed we're against it. But it crosses the border every day. I, I just can't believe, you know, Joy Behar and those idiots come out and they want to try to play, and even uh, Liz Cheney, that idiot, they all want to try to blame somehow uh, Trump folks. We're, we're supporting white uh, supremacy and, and, and they are 15. If they really care, if they care about life being lost by 10 people getting killed in Buffalo with a shooting, which is terrible. But you won't say a word about 200,000 federal deaths because the borders are open because your president, Biden, and the creatures that lurk behind him that pull his strings, and you won't say a word about it? What's wrong with you? You, you don't care about human slavery and, and women that are being trafficked in sex, but you're going to be all about, oh, we, we love women, we're looking out for women, we're, we're the cool women you watch on the view. But you don't want to ever talk about that human slavery and sex trafficking that's going on in a in a big way, and it, it's made much much easier by having open borders. Then you've got tunnels. I mean, this just goes to show you how profitable you know, drugs are. They found a 1,700 foot fully operational tunnel. We're not talking about something we crawl through. This is something you could walk from San Diego to Tijuana. I can't even imagine people and drugs that have gone through that tunnel. Yep. Oh, you'll seal it up. We look by federal law. We force the men on our side of the hole. But is that going to stop what's going on? Of course not. Not when you have these open borders. Do I want any of the Democrats, other than just a couple, really speak up about this? Hang in there, my friends, on this track talking Tuesday. Thanks for pouring to recite to More to come. <laughs>
Sunday, he started shooting in Laguna Woods, California, also being investigated as a hate crime. The Chinese American gunman accused of targeting Taiwanese victims, killing one, injuring five, four. He was stopped by others in the church and tied up. Billionaire Elon Musk tweeted again early this morning his deal by Twitter remains on hold. Musk wrote 20% or more accounts may be paid. And he can't purchase the social media site. Until it shows proof that only 5% of its accounts are state spam. Twitter chief executive Tarek Agrawal says the company suspends more than half a million spam accounts a day and lost millions of accounts suspected of being fake weekly if they can't be verified by humans. She needs to show up on there. The clip that you're is. Uh, and so they brought combined to put a zero turn mower from four to Ready. Jane Phil and O'Callaghan, no apologies, Matthew Lang, it is going back, and I-75 moving along, great to Marion.